Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making a delicious kale and potato bake. Grab a plate, cause it's the all free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Happy New Year. It is 2022. So I'm making this recipe. This was actually from our community vote. Uh, people in our supporting community get to vote on what recipes I work on next. I have an idea wall where I keep all of my ideas and I let them vote. So last month, this was the winner. This is a kale potato bake. So this is some a way that you can get your greens in there, especially with New Year's and with everybody's resolutions to eat better. This is a way to pack in some greens with a delicious taste. So we're gonna jump right in. I've got uh, one large onion, diced pretty small, that we're gonna start sauteing. And I'm not gonna use oil to saute this with. If it starts to stick just a little bit, I'm gonna use a little bit of the vegetable broth um, that is for the rest of the recipe. Uh, just to kind of deglaze it and it comes right off the pan. So I'm gonna, just gonna saute these for a few minutes and then we'll move on to the next step. Today's show is brought to you in part by Growing Spaces. Within seven days of harvesting, most fruits and vegetables lose 50% of their nutritional value and can sit in storage for weeks before appearing on the store shelves. The best way to get the complete nutrition from your produce is to pick it fresh, right off the vine, from your own backyard greenhouse. For over 30 years, Growing Spaces has been providing geodesic greenhouses for families, communities, and nonprofit organizations that allow growing year-round, regardless of weather conditions, even under two feet of snow. We plan on installing one in the future here on the show. As a very special deal for our viewers, click the link in the description to learn more and to save 5% off of your order. Okay, so our onions are just about at the right place here. They're just lightly browned. And I'm gonna toss in my garlic cloves here. This is just two cloves of garlic, finely minced. And then I have some Yukon Gold potatoes here that are diced. See how small those are? And I chop them that small because this is baked and it's not covered. So, you know, we want to make sure that those potatoes get well done. So this is about four to five uh, just medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes. You could use russet too, but I really like the, the Yukon Gold seem to stay intact a little bit better. I'm going to stir that in a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of cracked pepper in there. Looks like I'm almost out of pepper here. Okay. And then one cup of vegetable broth. Okay. And we're going to stir this and cover it. So essentially, we're going to steam these potatoes. We're going to pre-cook them a little bit before they go into the casserole to cook. So we're gonna let it sit here and, and boil for, or you know, cook for about 10 minutes until they're just slightly soft. Today's show is brought to you in part by Complement. As healthy as it is, did you know there are a handful of missing or hard to get nutrients from a plant-based diet? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why I take Complement Plus every day. Complement Plus contains the eight critical nutrients in dosages optimized specifically for plant-based eaters. Plus, they're completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use the code WFPB15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, so our potatoes are done. If you wanna come in and take a look, to see what they're supposed to look like. They're just slightly soft, just, just at the perfect, perfect point for us to put it in and mix everything together. All right, and if you want the full uh, ingredient list, there'll be a printable recipe in the details below. So we have kale here that I've chopped up really finely, about four cups worth. We're gonna put that in the bowl and we're gonna put the potatoes on top of it so we can just start to sort of wilt that while we're making our sauce. This pan is so darn heavy. Let's see, get some of that out of there. Go this way. Okay. Hey, 
mixer top. And I've got my oven already preheated to 400 degrees, because that's what we're gonna bake this at. All right, I'm just gonna let that I'm gonna gently kind of stir it in just a little bit, but really I'm just gonna let it sit on the top of that kale and let it wilt just a little bit while we're doing our sauce here. I'm gonna set this over here, grab my Nutribullet, because that's what we're gonna blend our sauce with. And I already have my pan here. I just have a casserole dish. It's like a, the size of a brownie pan. I think it's like nine and a half by nine and a half. Okay, so this delicious sauce. So this is a nut-free sauce, so you don't have to worry. It's all good. We are using an extra firm tofu that I've already drained, and we're gonna use half of it. This is a 14 ounce container. We're gonna use half, which is essentially one cup. Just gonna toss it in there. We've got half a cup of nutritional yeast two teaspoons of Bragg's liquid aminos, or you could use a low sodium soy sauce or tamari sauce, anything that has a little bit of that saltiness. And then one tablespoon of, this is a, a stone ground mustard, so it's a real uh, grainy kind of mustard. I like that type, but you could use Dijon too, that would be fine too. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. And then we have two cups of low sodium vegetable broth. And I'm just gonna put half in for mixing and then we'll just pour the rest in because I don't wanna overfill my container here. And we're just gonna blend this until it's really nice and smooth and creamy. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy Cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, there we go. Set that aside. And now I'll pour in the rest of my vegetable broth. We'll just use that mustard spoon, give it a little gentle stir. Okay, and I'm gonna set it over here on the side. Now we get our casserole dish. Okay, and I'm just gonna stir the kale into there, get it a little bit more wilted down. Cause you see the size of this, it's gonna come right up to the top. But as it cooks, you know, that, that kale is gonna continue to wilt down and they'll all, it'll all fit really nicely in there. Okay, you can see that it's wilting as we speak. It's perfect, okay. So now we're just going to gently get this into this casserole dish. <laughs> you know me, it's always a mess. It's always slopping around somewhere. Okay, looks like this is gonna be a perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. Great, there we go. Just gonna mash this around into the sides. All that deliciousness in there. Okay, now we get to pour on the delicious sauce. And you really, you're just gonna pour it and it's, it's just gonna settle down into it, into all the little cracks and crevices. Mm -hmm. 
know. And you don't want to, you know, if your pan is just a little bit smaller than this, you don't want to overfill too much because you don't want it to boil over into your oven. And it just makes a big old mess. There we go. Use my spoon to press down the kale a little bit. Okay, so we are going to stick this into the oven and we're going to start at a half an hour. So at 30 minutes, we're going to check it. We might need to press down the kale bits just a little bit more so they don't char the tips of it. Or if you had, you know, if this had a lid, that would be great too. You could make a little uh, like tin foil lid essentially too to go over it. But it doesn't really need that. I'm going to do it just like this. So into the oven we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is out of the oven. It is done. Come on in and take a look at this. Wow. Oh, this smells so good. It's just making me salivate. Okay. So I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes because it's like lava right now. And then I'm going to meet you at the table for a taste. It is time to dig in. Oh, I can't wait. This one. Oh, I've just been smelling it and my mouth is salivating. Oh my gosh. Mm. <sighs> but this is still extremely hot, so you can see the steam rising. So I'm gonna try not to burn myself. Oh. I think this is officially my new favorite dish. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. I love this so much. I could probably eat this almost every day. Oh, potatoes and kale. Who would have thought? They're like the perfect combination. Mmm. Okay, guys, you're gonna love it. Be sure to give, give this a like, and I'll see you next week for another great recipe. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.